The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Birch. Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, one of the things that I, uh, I'm enjoying as I'm doing one of these videos from the car, one of the things I'm enjoying about Texas is how uh, traffic lights and, stop and signs are, are kind of just vague suggestions. They're not, they're not, it's not like a law, you know, they, they don't have any of the traffic cams around here. And, uh, and so it's, it's really just like, Hey, it's red. So, you, you know, you might want to consider stopping, but if, yeah, if you don't want to, that's fine. It'll be fine. Um, but it creates a whole different driving pattern where people, you know, they're, they're very slow to get them going when it turns green. So unlike other States I've been to where light turns green and, you know, immediately people start moving, there's a big pause here and I get it because, uh, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> there's a, there's a, like, you know, there, because the, the red light has like a five second, 10 second rule where you could just go through it anyway. You know, it's uh, people are just making sure they don't get, uh, get, you know, get, get trash. But anyway, uh, let's get 20s mails. Of course, we're talking about the writer's union and how it affects comics and it doesn't. And by the way, uh, the, the letters of support, the, I support the writer's union, they come off so cheesy to me, uh, when people inside of comics write those. And I, I, I get the support and solidarity and all that, but it just, it's like, hi, I'm a, I'm the writer of Deadpool and, uh, I support the writer's union. I stand with solidarity. I, I too will not watch Netflix tonight. Like some of the, some of the pledges are like, wait, what, what, what's, what's even going on here? Um, uh, there was somebody remain nameless, but basically their show got greenlit or, you know, it's in, it's in early production to do a pilot. And the, the person, uh, the, the comic creator is like, I, I, you know, I'm not attending the zoom call in solidarity with the writers. It's like, oh, ooh, okay. Wow. Old, old stand there text. All right. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, let's. Uh, but here's a mail. It says, "Is it time for comic writers to unionize?" And the uh, the answer is no. But let's read the mail and find out. It says, "Hey, Perch, not trying to dig up the image union. What I'm thinking now is that the creators employed by Marvel and DC should at least seek to join the Writers Guild of America. The WGA is currently on strike. Chief amongst their complaints are wages, residuals, and protections against potential AI replacements. Three things that are also important to comic creators today." Sure. Uh, with Marvel and DC being owned by Disney and Warner Discovery, respectively, they are already familiar with working with the WGA. If the WGA would agree to represent comic creators, would joining be a good move? It's ridiculous at this point that Marvel and DC appear to pay creators based solely on the comics rather than including the other sources of income. To me, it seems like a great chance to get the big two to start actually forking over money to creators and investing in growing their audience, rather than trying to save money by buying the cheapest labor with no true plan for the future. Anyway, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the matter. Well, the, the problem at the moment is that Marvel and DC have effectively, uh, you know, leveraged overseas staff, and they would, they would pretty easily be able to double down on that strategy should a union start to emerge for comics. Uh, now, if they did do that, then the bigger name writers could just say, well, fine, you know, we're not going to work with you. You know, we, you, we, you, if you don't, you know, allow us to do this, if you just go offshore, basically quote unquote, hire scabs. If you do that, you know, I, Tom King won't work for you anymore. But the problem is that Tom King doesn't hold any weight there. So, I mean, DC could go, wow, that's a shame. I feel bad about that, but uh, I'll see you later. That's how it would go. Uh, the other problem is that the artists would be like, what the fuck, man? You, we, you know, we're an important part of this. So, you, you know, only the writers get to unionize, but we get to be kind of left out in the cold. That, that, and, and, and actually, that's, that second reason, this reason, is probably the bigger factor in why we won't see uh, the unionization happen. Uh, or at least it's, it's going to have to take a very twisty road to get there. Because... The reality is, if you went ahead and allowed the union, to, uh, the writers to unionize, and and if the writers did this, they're they're you know basically uh, you know cast into the WGA. Um, you have then a problem where the writers have a significant advantage over the artists in comics, and that would create a pretty bad kind of disruption in the industry. Uh, it would uh, you would see if this came to pass, and people know it. Uh, you would see things like, 
you know, the, um, the writers would be us based and they'd be through the union and you'd see the art kind of dramatically flood overseas, much more than you're seeing now. You would see the art take a, a hit, uh, because you know, the, the writers would have to be paid and treated in a certain way. It would cause a, it would cause a reduction in quality of how the artists are treated. Now you could say the artists need their own union, but then what's the vehicle for that? It wouldn't be the WGA. What, what would be that vehicle for the artists? Anyway, there, there'd be a big problem to solve, and I don't have the answer to it. Maybe you, the listener, knows how that would go there, but I don't know what the answer would be. And then you'd get the case where you have writer-artist combos, and you know where does that even fit? Obviously, it could be represented by the WGA, but would the artist want to pay into guild dues and all the? I mean, it just it it would create a havoc that I don't know what the industry knows how to deal with, because it gets back to age-old question: is is the you know it, who's more important, the writer or the artist? Well, if you allow the writers to unionize and you start treating them under kind of rules that way and you pay and, and treat them fair, you know, in, in, in that way, it, it's unfair to the artist. You're basically answering that question. You're saying the, the writer is definitely more important than the artist, whether you want to or not. By the way, I would love to have a good debate with this, with somebody who's in favor of the writers joining, you know, the, the WGA, because I'd love to, to, basically hear it out because I, I think the answer i'd get back and i've seen some people talking about this is no that wouldn't be saying that the writers are more important than the artists but how could it not you know what i mean now now the writers are going to have to have a specialized way of working with a publisher that the artists would not have a vehicle for no matter whether you want to do that or not it would have that effect it would have the effect of creating that that disparity uh so that's where i get to kind of the first reason i gave which is you know, the comic publisher is like, look, this isn't a high margin business. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a basically a subsidiary of subsidiary in some cases. And um, it, it just, you know, and it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't work well. So, you know, hey, if you're going to go unionize, rather than put up with this stuff, rather than try and figure out how the artist fits in, rather than kind of deal with any of these logistics, uh, we're just going to call it a day and say, screw it. You know, we're, we're just going to go get writers somewhere else. So, Tom King, if, if you uh, refuse to work for us, I, I hope you enjoy Substack. Have a good time over there. Um, are they still paying? I don't know. Maybe go get some money out of somebody, but you're not going to get it here and forget about it. And the, the problem is, even though there are superstar writers, and I know there's several who listen to this channel, hopefully you don't, uh, you're not bothered or your ego doesn't get rubbed by what I'm about to say. I don't think any of your, any of the writers have the name to really hold up the industry. None of them do. You know, I, I mean, the biggest writer uh, in terms of, of raw sales and attention in recent times has been Donny Cates. And Donny Cates basically uh, flushed his career down the toilet with some very bad choices. And, and I'm, he will come back and it will all kind of, you know, there will be some kind of recovery there. But, you know, notice how, you know, Marvel didn't bend over backwards to make that work. They kind of said, ah, fuck it. You know, this is too much of a problem. They got to, we're moving on pretty fast. So if that is where the biggest writer stands, you know, who's, who's got the, who's got the power to hold up the show? You know, I, Al Ewing, Jason Aaron, you know, Scott Snyder, if he was to come back to DC, Tom King, Becky Cloonan, I mean, if, Come on now. I mean, they, they, there's no, there's nobody in that list that the comic publishers would not be willing to walk away from if it got too difficult to work with them. And that that's not a knock against the individuals. It's just, look, I, it it just won't work. So, you know, would it be? By, bear in mind, you're, this is my opinion of a guy who would like to see kind of better job security, better pay, you know, insurance, other things that I think you know, people who work in comics and do a good job deserve. Um, I, I think they do, but you know, again, they need to do a good job. They need to be producing good material, but if they're doing that, they're upholding their end of the bargain. I, I would prefer to see job security for these guys. I just, you know, it's, it's going to be very hard for that shift to happen in comics. You're going to have to make a bunch of other choices. Again, it, I think it could be done. I'm just being honest with you. I don't know how to do it. So maybe, maybe one of you does. So, you know, let me know.
Um, yeah, I mean, there you go. Let me let me know what let me know what to do. Um, and maybe you have a way of solve all this. But but right now, I think the biggest dynamic is how do you deal with the artists and the writers, and how do you have it not you know tilt the equation so that just it becomes a writer's you know world. And the artists get screwed in the process. I, I I can't wrap my head around how you effectively thread that needle. Anyway, maybe you do. So let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.